Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Rich Man. In fact, guys, what the hell is happening in Chelsea camp? Things are really happening in Chelsea transfer market. In fact, guys, when this transfer window close, Chelsea transfers need to be documented. Yes, because it is more than a movie. A big battle between Chelsea and Atlantico Madrid for the signing of Gallagher and Jao Felix. Guys, and let's start with Gallagher. In fact, two days, three days ago, Fabrizio tweeted that Atico completed the signing of Gallagher and gave him five years contract. And even Gallagher did his medicals, completed. They even sent Gallagher to their stadium. Gallagher had a, a walk through his new home to be. But guys, what a surprise. Recently, everything changed. Because ATM informed Chelsea that since Omorojom deal is off, they can't proceed with Gallagher signing because they were to use the money Chelsea will pay for Omorojom and sign Gallagher. So for that matter, they don't have money or cash in their hands to, con to continue the, the signing of Gallagher. Because uh, uh, Felix deal is also pending. We'll come to that. So currently, Atiko don't have any money to continue the, the signing of Gallagher. But just to inform Atiko that, guys, this is a separate deal. Don't be talking about Omorodium or Jaffelis transfer in this deal. This is a separate deal. If you want to sign Gallagher, go ahead and sign him. Or we book a flight for Gallagher to return to London. That is what Chelsea informed Atiko. Yes, that they should proceed. If they, they want to sign Gallagher, they should continue. Because Chelsea look at it to be a separate deal from any uh, whether Omorodion deal or Jaffelix deal. And if Atiko don't proceed, Chelsea will book flight for Gallagher to return to London. Guys, what is happening? In fact, and this deal, if care is not taken, Atiko will put it off. Because initially, Atiko chased Chelsea and Gallagher to sign him. Till Gallagher accepted to go to Atiko. Because if this Gallagher transfer go off, guys, things that we don't like will happen. First, it will look like Chelsea don't know what they are doing. Yes, because at first place, that means we don't get the right team to sell Gallagher to. Or it will seem like Chelsea were really forcing Gallagher out. So it will, it will look like Chelsea don't know what they are doing. And second, if Gallagher return and don't renew his contract, or Chelsea don't renew his contract, or Chelsea and Gallagher don't find agreement for Gallagher to renew his contract, next season, Gallagher will leave on free transfer. And it won't be good. It will be very painful to see a player like Gallagher leaving on free transfer. The young Gallagher, the relentless Gallagher, living on free transfer. Chelsea fans will not like it. So Gallagher coming back to Chelsea, another second reason why it will not be good. And the third reason why, guys, remember, Gallagher is not in the plans of Mareska. That is why Mareska signed Kina. Lavia is back. We now have Kaisaido. We now have Okochuku, our savior. And we now have Chuku Wemeka. All these midfielders who want playing time. So if Gallagher return, it will be hard. It will be difficult for Gallagher to play. Because first, you are not in the plans of uh, the coach. And second, owners wanted to sell you. And this will not help Chelsea. This will not help Gallagher. Because Gallagher will be earning wages next to doing nothing for Chelsea. He will not be playing for us earning wages. And Gallagher as a player, it won't be good for his career being on the bench. So for me, I don't support this deal going off or Gallagher returning to Chelsea. I don't support it. But guys, that is my opinion. Let me hear from you. Do you think Chelsea should return him to Chelsea? Or do you think Chelsea should do whatever they can do to sell him? Yes, because as I mentioned, these reasons. If he return next season, not renew his contract, he may go out on free transfer. Or may not be playing because not in the plans of Mareska. And we saw Mareska like Lavia. He like Keenan or Enzo. Yes, or Kasaido. So, it will be difficult for Gallagher to play. So, guys, that is pending Gallagher transfer for now. It is not yet completed. Ooh. It is not yet. Yes, everything, the contract base, uh, uh, the, the, the medicals completed. 
but official to pay the money for that were not yet completed. So guys, let me hear from you. Your opinion, your thought about this transfer. And let's come to Jafalis. But before we go to Jafalis, guys, please just remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button. Let's give this video 100 likes. Please like this video. And guys, let's come to Jafalis. Jafalis transfer. In fact, yesterday or the whole of yesterday, Chelsea and Jafalis agent, they discuss a lot about the transfer. At the end, or in conclusion, Chelsea informed Atlantico Madrid that they were paid 45 million for Jafflix. The same money they were to pay for Omorodion. Chelsea said they will pay that same money for Jafflix. And Atiko said, What? What are you talking about, Chelsea? Can you compare Jafflix to Omorodion? So Atiko rejected the deal or the fee. And informed Chelsea that Chelsea should bring 60 million for Jafflix. And Chelsea also said no. Currently, the deal is stuck. Nothing is moving on. Because Atiko won 60 million and Chelsea is ready to pay 45 million. You see another controversial <laughs> transfer, guys. Atiko won 60 million for Jafflix and Chelsea want to pay the same money Chelsea were to pay for Omorodion, 45 million. So that is why Atiko is also stopping Galaga transfer because they don't have the money. Chelsea is not yet ready to pay for the money they want to sell uh, Jafflis. So they don't have the money to sell Galaga. So that is why Atiko is also trying to back wars or not selling Galaga. So guys, <laughs> do you think Chelsea should pay them the, the 60 million for Jafflis? Do you think Jafflis deserve uh, to be paid 60 million for? Or Chelsea should maintain the 45 million, the same money Chelsea were to pay for Omorodio. In fact, guys, a lot has happened yesterday. So that is why I could not even give you video during the night time because I wanted to have a sure, accurate news to give you. Because my belief was that maybe at the end of uh, the day, Chelsea will sign a uh, Jafflis, will complete the deal. But look at what happened. Hmm. During the course of today, if anything happened, I promise you, even if it will take me to give you five videos based on the news that will come, I will do it for you guys. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button. Let's give this video a hundred likes. So guys, that is the information for Jafflis also. Let me hear from you. Your opinion, your thought about this transfer in the comment section. Yes. And latest information for Lukaku and Osimhen transfer, guys. In fact, Lukaku, Napoli proceed to sign Lukaku, whether Osimhen will leave or not. And they presented 25 million plus 5 million arrows waiting for Chelsea to respond. Officially, they presented 25 million plus 5 million arrows, making it 30 million. And Chelsea won 35 million for Romelu Lukaku. And in fact, uh, Chelsea have to accept, yes, the 5 million, we should let it go. Because Lukaku, he has to go this season. Chelsea have to sell Lukaku. We have to get rid of Lukaku. He is becoming too much. Every season, we are selling him. Every season we are selling him. And no team even meet that valuation. Eh, Napoli is meeting now. All the teams that came wanted something like 20 million. Some even want a loan. So, this time around, Chelsea should accept. So, guys, Napoli presented 30 million. They are now waiting to hear from Chelsea. Let's hope Chelsea understand and accept and let Lukaku go. Especially his wages alone. It's too much. And let's come to Osimen. Osimen from Chelsea camp. Whether Chelsea is signing Pedro Noto, it doesn't conflict with Osimhen transfer. If it happened that the condition of the deal changed, Chelsea said they will still go for Osimhen. They still want a striker. They still want to sign Osimhen. Yes, if Osimhen agree to reduce the salary or come on loan, Chelsea said they will welcome him. So, that is the latest. Upon all the deals that is happening, Omerodium, Jaffles, Pedro Neto, who and who, just said it doesn't conflict with uh, a cement uh, transfer or a cement coming to Chelsea. If anything change, a cement will come or Chelsea will sign a cement. So guys, that is the latest for a cement also. And Chelsea and Napoli, they are waiting to see. Yes, at the end of the transfer window, maybe magic can happen. Enzo Fernandez, like top transfer can happen. Caicedo, like top transfer can happen. So let's hope. And for Osimhen, the unless Osimhen is not leaving Napoli. Yes. And I don't think Osimhen will stay. Because 
Mm. Osimen don't have Napoli in his heart again. And Napoli also don't have Osimen in their plans again. During their preseason games, Osimen do not play. Conte is not counting on Osimen anymore. Even Conte and Lukaku, they are not having text messages. Starting, uh, they, they started talking about tactics, the formation, how he deploy Romelu Lukaku. Yes, they started texting. It means that Osimen is not in the plans of the new boss, Antonio Conte. So Osimen need to leave. And if Osimen will leave, Osimen will come to Chelsea. <laughs> that is the latest for Osimen. And Diego Moreira, Chelsea young player, completed his permanent move to Strasbourg. Yes, this is what we've been talking about. You are assigning young players that you don't need. The same, we were to do the same mistake with, the same mistake Chelsea were to do with Sano Omorodion. You have Detroit Fofana, you have Gai, you have Jason, you are bringing Omorodion to come and do what? To come and do what? So, thank God Chelsea understood and put Omorodion deal off. But let's hope. At the end, if Chelsea will get a, a jar fleece, then Chelsea should get us a cement too. For me, I don't have proven Chelsea landing Jaffin. He's a good player. But just that, I don't want Chelsea to put it like, if Jaffin comes, that is all. He will replace Chelsea signing a new striker or a cement. Yes, guys. But Chelsea said it is not conflicting with a cement deal, as I said. So, guys, that is the latest information for today or latest transfer news from Chelsea camp. As I said, if anything come, if anything new come, I will update you. So this channel... Football Lions, please, it is your Chelsea channel, number one channel. Please subscribe. Because when I check the analytics, it seems almost 80% who are watching, you haven't subscribed. So please, please subscribe and like this video. Take care. Peace.